What are the three best baseball movies to see? Uh, three that well, Sandlot's the best one for me, and that has a lot of meaning for me just because my son probably watched it a thousand times going to sleep uh, as a as a kid, and we'd watch that all the time. So Sandlot, I loved. I thought it was brilliant. You know the way they put that together and just evoked so many cool memories. You know, there's a there's a movie. And it's really probably corny trying to watch it these days. But I would just remember whenever I was a kid and we got the TV guide, I always looked to see if this movie was going to be playing. And I love this movie and it ended up being a Broadway show. And I saw Jerry Lewis play the devil uh, in this, but it was called Damn Yankees. And I love that as a kid. And uh, I'll probably at some point in the next few weeks try to see if I can find that on YouTube or somewhere but it's called Damn Yankees with Ray Walston, who ended up being Mr. Hand in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Nice, he was yeah. the devil. Uh, a guy named Tab Hunter. This, this movie was in the 50s, so I'm sure the production is probably not as what it cracked out to be when I was a kid, but I really look forward to seeing that. Uh, you know, the handful of times I got to see that as a kid, just a baseball movie anyway went a long way. But uh, the other one, man, I love uh, A League of Their Own. Uh, so if that's three bull Durham, when I saw that in 1988, I was a minor leaguer. It, it was spot on with, uh, the stuff that we were going through. What's the one with Kevin Costner and Kelly Preston for the love of the game. Yeah. There's, there's some of those clips from that movie and they're showing from, uh, a, a blimp. And there's a couple of people that have told me throughout the years that they really feel like Kevin Costner's character, uh, with the tigers in those clips in that movie, when they showed the, the, the stuff from the blimp or the, the helicopter, wherever they're making those shots from, is me pitching with the Tigers in those games. Wow. That's, that's crazy. Uh, what about, I mean, I, I always talk about this, and I guess people think it's, it's maybe a generational thing and it wouldn't work these days, and, and it's not the most PC movie, and I get it, but the original Bad News Bears, come on, man. That's a great film. Oh, I loved it. Oh man, that was the best. When I was a kid and, and, and it, when you got to hear kids cuss for the first time, that was, <laughs> yeah. there was nothing better. Tanner. I mean, it, the, the tantrums that the shortstop would, would, uh, pull off during that. I'm with you, man. Bad news bears, especially, uh, when we were kids getting to, to watch that movie was, was awesome. That, that's one of my favorites too. That's a good call. I think mine was the rookie. Mine, mine was the rookie for sure. That's a great one. Yeah, there's, there's so many good ones. That's what's fun. I mean, you know, when people put together their list, it's hard to knock. You know, I, there's not many uh, movies about baseball. Maybe Major League Two I didn't really love. But even Major League One, I was in the Midwest League at the time. And our uh, minor league pitching coordinator had just resigned from that job to take a part in that movie. And mm. he was the first baseman for the Yankees. He played uh, – Haywood in that movie, it was Pete Vukovich, former Cy Young Award winner. And he played Haywood in Major League. He was the first baseman in those movies. And he invited us on an off day from the Midwest League in Beloit, Wisconsin, to come up to Milwaukee, where they actually shot that that movie. And uh, we got to watch filming one day during an off day. Got to play catch with Charlie Sheen, talk with Tom Berger, uh, uh, talk with the umpires who, who played in that movie. And uh, that was a blast. We had a great time. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.